Hello, this is Paul from Quick and Mobile, and I've got a fully dressed up Falcon Power Folding Wheelchair here with the HD Armrest Extension Kit that I'm going to be driving through a relatively narrow doorway. Great opportunity to press pause to learn where we are on the internet, to learn more about these chairs, or look in the description section. Okay, that moment has passed. Let's take a look at this chair. And first thing we want to know is how much space do we have? The chair itself, we know from the factory, has a total of about 23 and a half inches of width. This one's got just a little bit more than 25 and a half inches of width on the outside of the armrest because We've got the HD Armrest Extension Kit. Just real quick, little note, we've got 22 inches of space in between the armrest of the Falcon with this HD Armrest Extension Kit. Now this door here, let's take a look at this. We have got about, well, if we take a look in between the, thre the thresholds here, we've got about 29 inches. And if we take in consideration, we've got a door. It's about another two inches. Cutting it pretty close. We have uh, maybe about an inch and a half of uh, space that we can navigate. And we have a leg extension kit on this chair as well. So let's see what we can do. Now, slow and steady, of course, are the, the way to win the race. Just showing the, the challenges here. Now, I do have this relatively reclined. The thing I like about the Falcon is with two fingers, I can actually just reach back and I can recline or bring the chair off without even leaving the chair, without getting on my hands and knees behind the chair to, to fiddle with some sort of sprocket. Anyhow, let's recline it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and power it up. Notice how I've got the joystick speed all the way down. And one of the challenges is I'm coming out of a room that I've got a flat wall and I've got a door kind of at the end of the wall. We're going slow here, not fast. So I'm going to have to kind of come at an angle here. Okay, so let's, let's see how this can work. Now the joystick itself, if I cram it all the way forward and go, it's going to open the throttle up. If I just go a little bit at a time, I can actually lower my speed, which is what I want to do. So I'm going to try to get as close to this door as possible. If I was able to do this with an Electra 7, with the armrest, extension kit, and have virtually no space, an inch and a half should be plenty. But still, I want to be very cautious. If I have a, a knee injury, and if I have my, my legs fully extended, I want to be extremely aware of what my legs are doing so I should notice that I've got plenty of space in between the feet and the door. So I'm kind of right now, I'm really watching the feet, really watching the door. And now I've got a few pretty difficult angles to come up against here. I've got the casters of the chair themselves. I don't want, now this, this one's already kind of getting through the uh, frame of the door here. This other one is uh, close behind. My feet, thank God, are already through the door. But I've got a very limited amount of space with the joystick here, so I don't want to bite my knuckles, I don't want to bite the joystick, and I don't want to damage the outsides of the armrest. So at this point, I'm just going to really just inch along, if that. Keep in mind I had to kind of go at an angle here. Okay, so now I've got one of these armrests and joystick through the door frame. So I'm just pointing out for, for people that have situations similar to this and you're wondering how to get the chair through the doorway, these are a couple benchmarks that I like to use to know that this is something good to look at. Feet are through the door, we've got the joystick through the door, the door frame, one caster is pretty much through and the other one doesn't look like it's going to chew the door up. So those are all great signs so far. Still, I'm not going to open the throttle up. Certainly not out of, out of the woods yet. Take a look, we've got a very limited space with this caster right here. So I'm going slow. I've got a very limited space here. And I don't want to do a sharp turn either because I have a lot more chair to get through. And if we take a look at this, I'm going to have an issue here with this armrest. So I'm going to have to turn a little bit. Okay, so back to work here. Okay, so I just made a little bit of a turn. 
in mind the wheels are kind of in the front of the chair here that are the turning wheels if I'm going forward. Okay, I've got these armrests through. I'm pretty happy. Not going to celebrate just yet. But there we go, folks. Now, take a look at the timestamp on the video. I didn't pretend to make this to be an easy feat. I just wanted to show how it can be done. And I wanted to show, of course, the level of caution that it should be done with if you're going to be in a Falcon that's kind of dressed up like this, going through relatively narrow doorways. Folks, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you make it a great one.